Hi, this is lifestyle and fitness coach Bikram, and today I am going to say the difference between good carbs and bad carbs, and also show you how to use bad carbs to our advantages. Please like, share and subscribe my fitness YouTube channel. First of all, I want to make it clear, that these informations are given for general purpose, which is for general fitness, and not for any specific goals, like fat loss. If you want more tailored diets and tips regarding fat loss, or any specific goal, kindly see my fat loss bomb series of videos ok, let's start. We've been told about good carbs and bad carbs. Frankly, this is a watered down version of the truth. The truth is, it's not the carbs that are good and bad, it's what we're using them for that makes them good or bad. What is a good carb anyway? Why is it considered good? The term good carbs is generally used to refer to carbs that take longer to digest. Also known as complex carbs, these are your whole grains, beans, and non-starchy veggies like broccoli, spinach, and carrots. Because they take longer to digest, they don't get absorbed into the bloodstream as rapidly and don't cause a big blood sugar spike. This allows us to use the energy provided from the carbs over a longer period of time. This is a good thing because this is how we use energy throughout most of the day, little bits at a time. Most of our day isn't very physically demanding and so spreading that carb energy boost out over a few hours aligns with our needs. What is a bad carb and why is it bad? On the flip side, bad carbs, also known as simple carbs, do the opposite. These carbs are more rapidly digested and broken down into glucose, blood sugar, and enter the bloodstream to be used as energy. However, because these carbs are broken down and absorbed more rapidly, they cause a bigger blood sugar spike. Unless we're exercising or performing an activity that requires a lot of concentrated energy, like hiking or rock climbing, we don't need all this energy all at once, and so we're left with a lot of unused blood sugar that ultimately gets dumped off and stored as fat. Your simple carbs are also found in junk foods like chips, soda, and pastries as well as white breads, cookies, and many cereals. This is a major reason why so many people are overweight or obese. We take in all this energy all at once in high concentrations and because of our largely sedentary lifestyles we have no use for most of this energy and as a result our bodies store it as fat. So, how can we use bad carbs to our advantage? The thing about bad carbs is that they aren't inherently bad. Like I stated earlier, it isn't the carbs that we should be labeling as good or bad, but rather what we do with them, that should. Bad carbs are only bad when we don't choose the energy they provide us. If we consume, say, a small pack of crackers before a workout we're actually priming our bodies for a better workout. Eating a carb that will provide a lot of glucose, in a short period of time, will boost the available glycogen we have for our workout and thus giving us more energy to perform better. So, we can consume little bad carbs just before workout. This is also true in the post-workout. After a vigorous activity, like exercise, our glycogen stores are depleted. We need to refill them as soon as possible, to optimize the recovery process and a simple cab that is, again, broken down and absorbed quickly, will do just the trick. When used in these situations, bad carbs can speed up recovery. Muscle is repaired and maintained more efficiently which can lead to less soreness in the following day or days. Examples of good carbs and bad carbs are mentioned below, good carbs are vegetables, all of them. It is best to eat a variety of vegetables every day. Whole fruits, like apples, strawberries, etc. Legumes, like lentils, kidney beans, peas, etc. Nuts, like almonds, walnuts, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, peanuts, etc. Seeds, like your seeds, pumpkin seeds. Whole grains, choose grains that are truly whole, as in pure oats, quinoa, brown rice, etc. Tubers, like potatoes sweet potatoes, etc. People who are trying to restrict carbohydrates need to be careful with the whole grains, legumes, tubers and high sugar fruit. What are bad carbs? These following food are bad carbs, sugary drinks, like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, vitamin water, etc. Sugary drinks are some of the unhealthiest things you can put into your body. Fruit juices, unfortunately, fruit juices may have similar metabolic effects as sugar sweetened beverages. White bread, these are refined carbohydrates the low in essential nutrients and bad for metabolic health. This applies to most commercially available breads, pastries, cookies and cakes. These tend to be very high in sugar and refined wheat. Ice cream, most types of ice cream are very high in sugar, although there are exceptions. Candies and chocolates, if you're going to eat chocolate, choose quality dark chocolate. French fries and potato chips, 
poor potatoes are healthy, but french fries and potato chips are not. These foods may be fine in moderation for some people, but many will do best by avoiding them as much as possible. So this is all for today. Love and regards from lifestyle and fitness coach Bagram. Take care.